You know, of course, the Motor City is known for its cars, but a Commerce Township man would like Detroit to be known for something else. Henry Ford had a dream to put the world on wheels. Kerry McLean's dream is no less ambitious. It just involves fewer wheels. One wheel, to be exact. I think you could call it an obsession, right. And the McLean wheel has been Kerry's obsession for 40 years, since a high school trip to Greenfield Village, where he saw an old wagon wheel. And I looked over there at this big wheel without spokes, and it occurred to me how cool that would be. And it started from there, and I actually built my first bike. Uh, I built it in my house, but we went back to Greenfield Village, and a blacksmith and I put one of those old stagecoach tires on it with the old stuff from over 100 years ago. Like any pioneer, Kerry has suffered setbacks in his quest to reinvent the wheel. Most notably would be this test ride back in May of 2001. I made this new machine, the big crazy machine with a V8, and it was working perfectly, and it was a beautiful day, and I'm just in a t-shirt and a little helmet, and I just kept going faster and faster. Everything is great. Well, it's all great until something happens, and it went into a gyroscopic precession, and I was out of control, and I crashed. What was really good about that crash is it forced me to look into a better control system. So what I did is I ended up with horizontal uh, stabilizers and rudders that steer and uh, big, big improvement. Kerry admits his McLean wheel isn't very practical as daily transportation, but he says it's perfect for recreation or extreme sports competitions. And he's discovered an unconventional application. You've reached your destination. Advertising. What I found with it is not only do you get everybody's attention, but everybody likes it. And you'll find negatives attached with uh, motorcycles or things, but for some reason, everybody likes it. With Kerry McLean, the wheels, er, uh, wheel, never stops turning. He keeps reinventing his wheel with the ultimate goal of taking it up to 100 miles an hour. I have gone over 60, which is, feels like, like 300, you know, it's unbelievable. Now, if you want to get an idea of what it's like to drive the McLean wheel, he says, imagine sitting on a one-legged chair trying to balance an anvil over your head. He's taken the wheel to the Dream Cruise in the past, but he says it's gotten way too crowded and crazy to ride that wheel out there now. It would certainly be a sight, though, wouldn't it? Remember, if you have a front row, uh, when the Woodward Dream Cruise shifts into high gear, you can watch the 7 Dream Cruise special this Saturday, August 20th, from 7 till 9.